we're moving away from the cliffs now in Honey Creek and moving down slope uh, towards the Big South Fork. And along the way, we're beginning to see one of my favorite and choice edible puffballs. Now, you got to catch the puffball before they get puffy. Now, once again, this puffball, it's a fungus. Uh, the body of the fungus is in this rotting stump, and this is a reproductive structure. And inside here, we're getting things that have to do with reproduction. Meiosis, spores are forming. We're going to have a little hole right here, and you've seen that where out come the, the spores and they get scattered all around. Well, puffballs are delicious. They're a choice edible mushroom. And when you're grilling, having a few puffballs uh, or making kebabs, these things are great for that. Except you've got to know one thing. And remember, you should never use these videos as a way, a means of identification. But let me show you what you've got to look for. You can only get in trouble with one of these. And, I, you know, I, I don't know that you'd have to eat a lot of them, I guess, to really get in trouble. But it's possible that this one... A little puffball. Uh, always cut them in half. And I'm looking really for two things. When the most poisonous mushroom in North America pops up, and we may see it today, it can be pure white and look a bit like a, a whiter version of this puffball. Uh, if you were to eat that, that, that would have serious medical consequences. So you cut it in the middle. If it's got gills, then you know that tells you you're dealing with a uh, an ammonita probably and not anything you want to eat so you wouldn't want to take that choice the other thing you're looking for is there a group that that form purplish spores and when you cut into this if it's mature enough it'll begin to show a purplish center now I don't know this one or maybe one of the others let's see if this is pure white or a little oh it may be too far on see those see the see that Oh, I think they're a little purple. Those spores are a bit purple. I'm just sending out billions right now. It's another Carl Sagan moment. Open we go. Oh, well, this one would have been purple. And look at the, these spores are just developing, but these are all going to be spores that go out. Now, if every one of them landed in a place where it could grow, the world would be covered with puffballs. So that's not going to happen. Some are going to land on rocks and trees, and but enough are going to land that this is going to start to grow again, and that's how it's going to spread from place to place.